Consider the model bacteria Escherichia coli. E. coli are under constant threat of their ubiquitous predator, the bacteriophage. When, by unlucky circumstance, a phage locates an E. coli, it lands on the cell and injects its genomic payload. The phage then turns the bacteria against itself, forcing the bacteria to rapidly replicate more and more phage. So many phage are produced that the engorged bacteria explodes under the pressure, spewing forth thousands of phage in a gory burst. So what can bacteria do when phage attack? In the arms race between phage and bacteria, the bugs have developed a weapon called CRISPR. Once an E. coli has fought off a phage, it keeps a copy of the phage's genetic code hidden inside its own DNA. It stores these copies in between sequences of palindromic DNA, effectively creating a molecular library of past phage infections. The cell transcribes the CRISPR DNA into RNA. The resulting RNA is folded and cleaved into individual CRISPR RNAs, each one bearing the memory of a single infection. Around the RNA, CRISPR-associated proteins assemble into a complex called cascade. Cascade scans its surroundings for foreign DNA. It searches first for a three-letter sequence called PAM. Bound to a PAM, Cascade rips apart the DNA strands and compares its sequence to the CRISPR RNA it carries. When the sequence matches, Cascade locks in place, alerting the cell to the presence of an enemy. The cell responds by dispatching the enzyme Cas3. Cas3 binds to both the foreign DNA and Cascade. It pulls one strand of viral DNA through itself and hacks it into pieces. The remaining strand of DNA forms a loop. Eventually, Cas3 releases from Cascade. With its nuclease domain now inactive, Cas3 runs away, leaving a mortal wound in the virus's genetic code. Looks like it's curtains for the phage. Unless a lucky error during replication can save it. If a mutation occurs either in the region of DNA that the CRISPR RNA targets or in the PAM sequence, the phage can escape Cascade and Cas3 and continue its murderous rampage. But all is not lost. Cascade can still find mutated targets, though not as quickly. Because Cascade binds to mutated sites differently, Cas3 is unable to locate Cascade. So the cell dispatches two more proteins, Cas1 and Cas2. Cas1 and Cas2 can bind to Cascade and recruit Cas3 even at mutated sites. However, Cas1 and Cas2 neutralize Cas3's ability to chew up DNA. Rather than attacking DNA at the site, the three Cas's travel thousands of bases of DNA in either direction, scouting new sequences of DNA to target. If Cas1, 2, and 3 can find a new sequence fast enough, the phage can still be destroyed before the cell succumbs. The war wages on between E. coli and bacteriophage, but with CRISPR, the bugs have a fighting chance.